guys are going to go ahead. Hello, everyone. As some of you, most of you know me, but if you don't, my name is Frank Serenby. I'm a biomedical engineering sophomore, and I believe that I would be an exceptional VP for Science Day. At first, I was hesitant to apply for any position because I thought I wouldn't receive support from my peers. But as I got nominated, I thought, if someone believes in me as much as I believe in myself, then I owe it to them to at least try. I know this may seem like a non-issue to some of you, but to me, a leader is someone that should receive the support of their peers in order to make any measurable change and serve as an inspiration. And to me, this is what being an e-board member is. I wanted to pursue this position because it resonates with my values and inspiration as an engineer. When I was younger, there weren't any other Hispanic students in my classes that were like me. Of course, I had friends, mostly Asian classmates, that I could relate to, but there wasn't anyone who was like me, someone who could inspire me. Even in my family, I was, there was no one who was st associated with STEM. I was alone. I know that there are some of you who are able to relate to these circumstances, and so you know what a club like SHIP would mean to someone like me. <clears throat> in this room, there are people who would have inspired a younger version of me, people who would have shown me what is possible, and people who would empathize with the environment that I grew up in. This is why I see Science Day as the perfect event. It is not only a day where we can have fun workshops and inspire students to pursue careers in STEM, but it is a day where we can give them a glimpse of someone that they can be. As you may or may not know, I am also a volunteer coordinator for Biomedical Engineering Society, and it is my job to come up with volunteer events for the um, club to pursue. In one event, I worked for two days at the Tucson Festival of Books, where we ran a booth and we had events for kids and we displayed medical devices to show what a BMB does. As luck would have it, a grad student actually had a 3D bone scaffold that I was researching and developing at the time. So, naturally, I was delegated to the role of explaining the devices. So for two days, I was explaining devices from people that ranged from kids to parents to senior doctors. And by far and away, I had the best time discussing these things with younger students because they were so interested in 3D printing, medicine, and potentially becoming researchers when they're older. And through these exchanges, I realized something. I truly love being a source of knowledge and encouragement for people because I truly want to see them succeed. As of now, I am currently working with the Autism Society of Southern Arizona to organize an event to inspire students who are part of the autistic spectrum by trying to make them pursue college education in STEM fields through a day's worth of meaningful workshops. <clears throat> and even though this event will be the Saturday after finals, I couldn't be more excited. So if I were to be VP for Science Day, I vow to start with my tasks as soon as I possibly can. Even though I do not know the exact requirements and expectations for this position, I have talked to present and past eboard members, and I know that with my experience, I am able to adapt and complete any task that I must. I also know that Science Day is one of the first major events for SHIP. So I also vow to be actively engaged in early recruitment because I want to demonstrate my passion, not only for this event, but as an eboard member for SHIP, which brings me to my last point. My interest does not lie solely in becoming VP for Science Day, but to be an eboard member for SHIP. Now, I'm gonna be transparent with you all. In fact, you can say I'm gonna be quite frank. <laughs> I, am not, I am not looking to pad my resume with this position and leave an abandoned ship as soon as this event is over. I want to do this because I believe in the values of ship and what it means to our community. After participating in so many events, I know that there are so many people in this room who are as dedicated, if not more, into seeing this club succeed as I am. I know that through this club, I am able to become someone that would inspire a younger version of myself. And because of these people, we are able to pull off so many ambitious events and still have the energy to support each other. I want to be a part of this legacy, and I want to do this right now because I know that many of you will be gone and I'm a senior. I want to be here when the transition occurs so that I can help lead present and future SHIP members, and I'm officially making this goal today. Thank you. Any questions?
I'll answer anything. <laughs> um, so Science Day, as you know, is part of three workshops. Do you yes. have any idea of what you would want these workshops to be? Well, I have a few ideas. So I previously said I was working with the Autism Society, and I'm making workshops for them. I'm hoping to um, maybe bring one who we're making a biomedical hand. I know that it may be a bit longer than the allotted time for workshops, so I could modify something like that. Um, I also know that we have staple events, like the baseball thing, and I'm not sure about the third one, but I know that I've worked with a lot of events uh, producing and organizing workshops. So as long as I know the expectations, what I need to do, I will find something. Don't worry. Well, um, Science Day is one of the first events of the fall semester, so how do you plan to have everything set by the time it rolls up pretty fast. I know. As soon as the nominations come out, if I get this position, I will work as soon as I can. I know that Elizabeth and Luis um, have worked on Science Day, so I will immediately talk to them and I will organize things because I know that things have to be done, um, reserved this semester, and since I am staying here over summer to research, I'll have plenty of time to organize things and start up the minutia. I know one of the most difficult parts about Science Day is the fact that it is so early off. Yeah. So you're basically done almost as soon as the year starts. Do you have any plans on what, you're going to be, what you would want to get involved with after Science Day has come to an end? When Science Day comes to an end, I will ask the e-board for anything I can do. I'll, I know that I, in my speech I said that there will be a lot of people leaving. So I want to document what each e-board member does so that when I'm a senior, we're able to ease the transition a lot faster because I'm pretty sure you noticed there's a pretty large gap between the uh, software freshman and junior and senior. So I want to make sure that the transition is as seamless as possible. That's going to be one of my major goals. So you seem like a perfect, passionate member um, and nominee for this position. Yeah. Uh, what would you do to maybe prevent the people that you think are leaving you know, throughout the year? Like, How would you spread that passion towards the members? Um. I want to make myself as visible as possible. I know that through engagement, we have staple members, like Elizabeth, who everyone loves and can relate to because she's so actively involved in vocal. And I want to emulate those personality traits in order to attract people and retain them. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much.